Big decision planned for tomorrow. Palm Beach County Commissioners set to consider if the county should enter into phase two of reopening and decide what that will look like. Ahead of the meeting, we're getting a look at a reopening plan draft that commissioners will consider. CBS 12's Jay O'Brien joins us live now with a look at that and what it means for schools and businesses in the area. Jay? Yeah, listen, Jim, the most anticipated part of that draft plan is what it means for back to school. In it, the county recommends that students return to in-person classes three to four weeks after the county, county enters into phase two. A, that plan is a draft. B, that final decision, no matter what happens with that plan, will ultimately be up to the school board. But it is the county commission's decision as to what businesses reopen, and we visited a few of those today. Brett Herman has been preparing to open his bowling alley for months. It's been certainly a little bit frustrating as we've been playing the waiting game. Shutting down in March, Verde's Tropicana Bowl furloughed 20 employees and watched as their lanes stayed closed despite neighbors reopening. Now they've got newfound hope. Just, you know, sheer excitement. Hinging on a decision from the Palm Beach County Commission tomorrow that could approve a draft phase two plan that would reopen entertainment venues like this one. It's been very strange just coming in here to an empty facility day after day, week after week. We want to put safety first. At Palm Beach Drama Works, Sue Ellen Barrel will have to live with that emptiness a while longer, making the tough decision not to reopen, even if the county gives her the green light in phase two. I don't think it matters what phase. I think this is more about when it's really safe to do so and the community feels safe enough to come back. The numbers just won't work until then. With six foot social distancing measures alone, her 218 seat house turns into just 35 seats. And that's using the entire theater. 35 seats, that sounds impossible to make. Not financially feasible, yeah. can't do it. Drama Works will keep posting shows online, but their house will sit empty, ghost light shining, likely until there's a vaccine. And while tomorrow's vote marks just another day for this empty theater, it's everything for Brett Herman. The phone has been ringing off the hook for months. Other businesses that could reopen under that draft phase two plan, movie theaters, large trampoline houses and other indoor venues, concert halls and auditoriums, though, under that draft plan could not open until mid-October. We'll obviously know a lot more in tomorrow's county commission meeting. I'm Jay O'Brien, CBS 12 News. All right, Jay, thank you. But it is back to business for some already in Palm Beach County. Tattoo, body piercing, and tanning salons can now reopen this after being forced to stay closed since the start of the pandemic in March. The businesses must now practice social distancing, require masks, and maintain enhanced cleaning protocols.